Hi, I'm Maya from Bookworm Dreams and welcome to a new video. Today I'm bringing you my book haul. So these are all the books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten books that I bought um, since the pandemic started. Uh, basically, like in the last year and a half the books I've, I've bought uh, most recently most of them are from uh, last weekend when my sister and I went to the movies and then we uh, visited a bookshop and then I got a really a lot of books <laughs> anyway I got I went crazy because I didn't really buy anything in a store for a really long time and I was like I'm getting it I'm getting it so yeah uh, so let's just start uh, first, we'll start with the science fiction. So, I bought uh, Empire of Silence by Christopher Rukio. I hope it's Rukio, I don't even know how to say it. And the sequel, Howling Dark, by the same author. So, basically, this is our book one and book two in the Sun Eater series. Um, and I'll just tell you what the first one is about. So, it was not his war. The galaxy remembers him as a hero, the man who burned every last alien... Kaiklin, Saislin, I don't know, from the sky. They remember him as a monster, the devil who destroyed a sun, casually annihilating four billion human lives, even the emperor himself against imperial orders. That sounds interesting. But Hadrian was not a hero. He was not a monster. He was not even a soldier. On on the wrong planet at the right time for the best reason, Hadrian Marlowe starts down a path that can only end in fire. He flees his father and a future as a Torturer, only to be left stranded on a strange backwater planet. Uh, forced to fight as a gladiator and navigate the intrigues of a foreign planet court, uh, Hadrian must fight a war he did not start for an empire he does not love against an enemy he will never understand. The third science fiction book that I got is The Doors of Eden by Adrian Tchaikovsky. So basically, four years ago, two girls went to find mythical creatures on Badman Moor. Uh, only one came back. Lee uh, thought she'd lost Mel forever, yet now she's mir miraculously returned. I can't speak. Uh, but what really happened at the Moors? Uh, MI5's Julian, something I can't pronounce, is investigating an attack on the top physicist uh, K. Amal Khan. This leads Julian to clash with agents of an unknown power, uh, who may or may not be human. But his only clue is grainy footage showing a woman who supposedly died on Badman Moor. Dr. Khan's research had revealed cracks between our world and parallel Earths, and now these are widening, revealing extraordinary creatures. And as the doors crash open, anything can come through. Anyway, this is a standalone, that's why I got it. Uh, I um, actually won the Arthur C. Clarke Award. That's cool. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading that one. I actually never read anything by him. Uh, I think uh, my sister has the Children of Time series, uh, but I haven't gotten to it yet. So I'm looking forward to this one. And now let's get to the urban fantasy portion of this haul. Uh, I got the sequel to one of my favorite books of last year, and that is Dead Men in a Ditch by Luke Arnold in a ditch, not the ditch. All right, so just look at this awesome cover. It's similar to the last ones that basically have like a, um, a part of the city that he's in. So basically uh, in this urban fantasy series, we follow Fetch Phillips, he's a private detective and uh, he lives in a world where there used to be magic and he works only for magical creatures because he hates humans. Because I mean, he's human himself, uh, but he hates himself as well because he's the reason that the magic disappeared. And um, basically, in the second one, uh, Fetch Phillips is a private detective with nothing left to believe in, which is why he's surprised when people of Sander City start to believe in him. Rumor has it that Fletch is the only one who can bring, bring magic back into the world. So when a man is murdered in a way that can only be explained uh, as magical, Fetch is brought in on the case, a case which, you might, uh, which might just unearth things that are left buried. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this one because the first one was so awesome and so unexpected and it's just yay. I'm looking forward to it, really. The second book in urban fantasy is Sandman Slim by Richard Cadry. Uh, basically, this was a cover by, definitely. Just, it's a dude that whose shadow is the devil. All right, so basically in this book, uh, Supernatural is a super, it says here, Supernatural Fantasy has a new anti-hero. So, life sucks and then you die. Or if you're James Stark, you skip the dying, get betrayed by your friends, 
and spend the next 11 years trapped in hell. Uh, you don't survive the devil's playground without learning a few tricks. Stark is not the man he once was. He once was. Over a decade of fighting Helian, Helian, Hellion monsters <laughs> will do that to a person. He's escaped and is back in LA seeking revenge. Um, but the road to absolution proves longer than expected and it does not take long for Stark to realize that both heaven and hell have their own plans for him. I remember I put this on my Goodreads TBR a bunch of years ago and when I saw it on the store I was like, huh, I like the cover, I'm getting it. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, to this one. It's going to be really good. I mean, hopefully. It would totally suck if it sucked, but I hope it doesn't. This setup is a little bit different because I had to refilm this part because my phone sucks and my filming and editing programs suck and I have to do it again. Anyway, uh, this is the fantasy portion of my book haul. So the first book I want to mention is uh, one that I won at an auction. So I think the summer of last year or maybe it was like, I don't know, uh, there was an auction to help um, a sort of charity organization or an organization actually that helps uh, with uh, animals and uh, they had a, an auction to buy books so uh, you, you can bid and then you win a book so I won uh, Dragon Master by uh, Chris Bunch so this is uh, three volumes of Chris Bunch's I don't know what name I just said before but Chris Bunch's um, acclaimed Dragon Master trilogy in one uh, volume. So here we have, I guess, three books or how many ever books. It's like 850 pages long. So I'll just read you what this book is about. Um, so when the uneasy peace of the Three Kingdoms is threatened by war, Hal's dream of riding uh, dragons becomes reality. For this is a conflict like no other. For the first time, wild dragons have become living weapons ridden by men of cold daring and ruthless ambition. And the greatest of them is Hal Kailas, Dragon Master. So hopefully this Kyle, Hal is the other is the same as the other Hal. Is this like a hero of his that they have the same name? Anyway, it's about dragons. Uh, sounds fun. I'm looking forward to it. And the next book I want to talk about is actually first time I heard this book is when Elliot from Elliot Brooks mentioned it. She found it in a store and she was like very surprised. She read it and she loved it. And she was surprised that it wasn't so popular. So when I saw it in my store, I was like, I'm getting it. Um, but then when I got it, I saw that there were the sequels actually the whole trilogy so i got the whole trilogy and the book i'm talking about is the ninth reign by jen williams and then we have the sequel the bitter twins look at that awesome cover it's a dragon and we have the poison song which is book number three in this trilogy so i'll just tell you what book number one is about uh, the city of ebora once glittered with gold now its streets are stalked by wolves to mail the oathless uh, has no taste for want, waiting to die while the realm of his ancestors falls to pieces. Okay, uh, talk about the guilt trip. When eccentric explorer Lady Vicenza Vintage the something offers him employment, he sees a way out. Even when they are joined by a fugitive witch with a tendency to set things on fire, the prospect of facing down monsters and retrieving uh, artifacts is preferable to the abomination left behind. But not everyone is willing to let the empire collapse, and the adventurers are soon drawn into a tangled conspiracy. Ad sorry, and the adventurers are soon drawn into a tangled conspiracy of magic and war. Oh, it's difficult to read apparently out loud. So yeah, um, uh, when Elliot mentioned this book, this book, uh, a bunch of other uh, booktubers uh, read it and enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to this one, and if I like it, I have the whole trilogy to read. And the last book I want to mention is a book that I've been sort of on the fence um, whether I wanted to get it or not. Um, I know that I would will enjoy it when I read it because I enjoy all the works uh, from this author. Um, but it's just like the cover is so ugly. So yeah, uh, I got A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. Um, I stand by it. The, uh, the cover is horrible. But basically this is uh, book four in the whole A Court of Ron Rose... Thorn and Roses, um, a fantasy series that uh, Sarah J. Mice wrote. Uh, so basically, this is book four. Since this is book four, I, I can't tell you much, but uh, uh, a lot of Sarah J. Mass's fans already know what this is about. So this is basically about Nesta and Cassian, the characters that we meet in the first three books of the trilogy and sort of their love story. So it's basically an epic fantasy romance with lots of plot. And um, yeah, 
I got it. I'm going to read it uh, at some point. Hopefully, uh, my God, it's a huge font. That's why it has like 400 and how many pages? It has 750. And look at the font. We'll just look, look at the font. Look how big these letters are. 750. Oh, Jesus. Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, I got it and I'm excited and to read it and to get to it because Christina and I have been reading uh, the Throne of Glass series. So, yeah. So yeah, that's my book haul. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, press the like button. You can subscribe to our channel. Uh, press the bell button to get notifications. Uh, there are some important links down below in the description box that deal with some world issues. So please do check them out. And that is pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.